with me now, James Wright. James, I spoke to you last week. You said, I want to have a go around there. It's a bit of a blast, it'd be a bit of fun. It was a nice bit of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, won the most important race at the end of the night. But, uh, you know, rode a little bit inconsistent during the night, but I didn't want to take any risk. I knew it was going to come down to the last race and um, made the best start of, of the meeting for myself and uh, hit the front and that was that. Choosing the gate positions where the uh, lesser one gets the best choice makes you race harder, but uh, you chose right. Yeah, I think I did. I, 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 you know, again, I just made the best start. I made a few adjustments for the final race. I didn't really change anything during the meeting. I just wanted to make sure I got in the final and I, you know, picked the right strategy with the gearing and the, the ignition. I changed a couple of things and it definitely seemed like a different bike in the final. I, you know, Eddie rode really well all, all meeting. He was probably the most consistent rider, but, um, you know, he, I just got to the dirt before him and that was it really. So I think it would have been the same either way if he got there before me, he would have won the meeting as well. So it's just, it was all about making the start really. Other than you got a bigger wheel on the machine, how did it feel in comparison to a speedway bike going around this circuit? Oh, it, it completely, it's like alien, like I'm going to have to uh, adapt my style again. I, I, I've taken like half the year just to get right, used to riding the speedway and then riding the, the grass bike in the first few races was it was really strange. It was only towards the, the end of the meeting I started to get a good feel and feel a bit more relaxed on the bike. So now I'm going to end up going to the next meeting with Newcastle and it's all going to be uh, a little bit alien again. But um, I really enjoyed myself and um, I hope you know, we put on some good racing tonight and um, I think the fans enjoyed it. They seem to, don't they? Because there's more and more coming every week. Yeah, I mean, it looked like there was a healthy crowd tonight and um, I just enjoyed getting out on the bike. You know, my son had a ride before the meeting, so it's kind of worked out well. We just got a, you know, a bit of a journey back tonight, but you know, we're all in one piece and we've enjoyed ourselves and uh, we look forward to the next meeting. I think the most favourable thing that come out of it is what you said is you've enjoyed yourself because that's half the battle, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's, you know, that's, that's the main thing is that you should, you know, should enjoy your riding. It does get a little bit too competitive and, you know, there's a lot of pressure on, you know, especially these days with Speedway or any kind of sport. So, um, Staying relaxed and that is, is the key, I think, and it's definitely working for me this year. I'm not really getting wound up like I used to. I'm taking a race at a time. I'm not panicking and just, just enjoying my racing. Looking at what the Isle of Wight are doing here, you must uh, be pretty pleased. Yeah, they are. You know, they're, they're putting on a good show, you know, um, got a variety of things going on. Um, I mean, I didn't get a chance to watch everything because I was a little bit busy, you know, with my own racing. But um, I certainly enjoy it, especially when I've been here, like, you know, just, just as a side stander and uh, watching it, you know, really enjoy myself down there. Brilliant. Look, great result tonight. Well ridden and uh, glad you enjoyed it.